Now we want you to share with us our latest and greatest dream. Walt Disney decided in 1954 to go on to television, and he would come into your home. M-I-C-K-E-Y. I I would get glued, just like, I'd be like, this is it. Every Sunday night at home, to see that Tinkerbell come up and hit the screen was one of my fondest early memories. I think it started for me during a trip to Epcot with my family. They were showcasing virtual reality, and you would fly around the city of Agrabah. And I remember turning to my dad and saying, can I do this someday? And he says, of course you can. My dad took me to a theater and saw Lion King film. The colors, the story, the characters, it just made me know like, how much my dad loves me. When things are getting a little tough, I always fall back and watch Little Mermaid because it really shaped me into becoming a strong person and becoming a better person. Anybody can grow up and be who they want. They just have to find where they can do it. And Belle's amazing. Just who she is and everything she embodies, like that's what I want to be when I grow up. You can't put into words how I feel about one character. You feel that sense of magic or wonderism because I, I grew up in foster homes and group homes as a kid. And so it brought back those good memories that children think about, you know, when good things happen in life. And that started this whole train rolling of me collecting Mickey Mouses. Disney has always been very special to me because people are, are able to feel the aura of the the famous man that had created all these wonderful things.